great. Uh, coming back to the book, uh, you mentioned about uh, the most important factor for success as being willpower. Uh, so I just wanted your thoughts on that. Can you elaborate on that? Um, uh, I, would, is, I, I would say no. I would say that's the most important. It's one of the components of success. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and and you know, there's you know one of the studies from Stanford where they uh, give these whole lot of kids the marshmallow mm-hmm. and say we're coming back in 20 minutes, and if you haven't eaten your marshmallow, you get two. And then they uh, they study these kids further on, and the kids who who could forsake immediate gratification go to something else. So obviously I've got to, that's a, just an obvious, right? I have to pick reading something that's going to help me grow mentally mm-hmm. over watching Netflix, yeah. right? Yeah. So the need for immediate gratification, any human's need is firstly pleasure. So the Netflix is going to draw you greater than, you know, going on, and online and doing a course is going to draw you. But it's your it's your capacity to overcome the need for immediate gratification to say, you know, but if I do this, the long-term benefits uh, and gratification are going to be much larger. So that's one of the components. I think optimism is a very important habit of success. Um, um, I think uh, mindfulness is a very important uh, aspect of success. I think resilience and persistence are very very important to success because there's no as you probably know you're an entrepreneur I'm an entrepreneur there's no such thing as a, a, a obstacle free journey to success so we've got to be able to have to you get obstacles for free <laughs> <laughs> but, and I, as I tell kids whether they're obstacles or stepping stones uh, depends on how you want to look at them right if you see them as stepping stones like, so if you've got a spirit of optimism and you see okay this is a challenge that's been put in front of me to help me grow rather than uh, you know being a victim mentality and saying oh this again once more one more problem in front of me and how you know why is God just putting all these problems in front of me it's a very different mindset and I believe so my excitement of working with kids is you work with a lot of adults uh, I know who are just big kids yeah I know people <laughs> like Anthony Robbins and you know D Martini and all these people who work with adults and I'm saying would it be easier to have kids grow up correctly so we don't have to fix them when they're adults you know they're already whole sure. you know there's no pieces missing there are no broken pieces um, um, that need to be synchronized and made whole and you have adults that live an authentic version of who they are I think that, that's a, that's the engagement and the uh, passion I have for you know working with kids 